Hi Floss Tube. I'm back for Floss Tube number three. Um this is Tiffany coming at ya. <laughs> uh my channel's Express Life Tifa, obviously. But uh I keep forgetting to say that, so <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Um I planned on doing uh Floss Tube every Wednesday and I just got busy so I'm going to try to do every other Wednesday, but I'm not good at telling you guys that because I am really bad at uh, planning. <laughs> so I tried to write everything down that I needed to tell you today. Um, so today I have a lot to show you and get ready. <laughs> I got beer because... Everyone always drinks coffee, but that's not my speed, so. <laughs> so today I have the first one thing I wanted to show you that I finished for uh, Christmas. I, I brought some Christmas stuff out from um, the garage because they were tucked away, but I wanted to show you. So this is my pillow finish for cookies for Santa and it's a uh, country cottage needleworks design um, I finished it with this look cute little gingerbread uh, pattern and Rick rack um, alternating colors and I I just this one stood out to me when I was going to the LNS for the first time and I wanted to do Christmas because it was around Christmas time. Um, I saw the second thing I want to show you is it's actually a, quilt, a quilted prairie point wreath. So I, I really liked um, a picture of this that was on Pinterest. And it's no sew. So all it is is like squares that you fold into triangles and then you pin around um, or you pin on the points and like you build it from the bottom inward and um, I followed a tutorial for shabby on shabby fabrics um, YouTube and it worked really really well and I I thought it was really cute I got it I got the fabric from Joann's it was like a one of those bundles that you could get packs I'm sure if you've bought one you know um, and after I made those two I made this one for my mom's birthday or maybe this was before and I'm not exactly sure but when I was first starting to do cross stitch I I got a kit that was uh, Joan Elliott this is Joan Elliott called one scoop and it says take life one scoop at a time because my mom loves ice cream and um, I just thought it was perfect so this hangs in our kitchen and I did I tried to do what like Priscilla and Chelsea suggested where they're using like sticky board which I I figured out was this like foam core board that has like a peel off like paper that has like glue underneath and then um, what I did was I pin have pins on the side and on, of all the edges and I have a cute backing fabric which is a uh, little cupcakes because they didn't they didn't have ice cream sundaes so I couldn't find any ice cream fabric but I I did find fabric that was you know of similar colors that are in the chart um, in the back so I mean you don't really see the back because it's hanging up but it's cute and this way there's no you know frayed edges or there's no nothing showing so a good finish so I'm gonna go on to my finishes this week so I showed you before that I did these the March um, bunnies monthly bunnies from Just Cossage magazine and I finished March, so I went back and I finished February. 
And I've thought about just removing my initials from this one, just because if I want to, you know, have it up next year, then maybe I don't want to have the year and date and everything. So I was thinking I might just add it to like the bottom. But originally the chart had um, here in the heart, it said be mine. But because the chart was incorrectly charted in the magazine by one over and I didn't realize until after I had stitched it, I had to rip it out and I got angry about it. <laughs> I didn't want to work on it anymore, but I, I finished it and then I decided I would just do like a checkerboard heart um, instead of the words because I don't really like the words be mine anyways. Because um, I already have someone, I don't need someone to be mine, I already have someone that's mine. So um, my next finish is my bunny that everyone seems to really rave about. I, I was kind of surprised, but here it is. <laughs> so I got this um, frame at the thrift store, and it has this really cute, like, molding on it. And you would think that it was is wood, but it's plastic. And it's not actually a white. It's more of an, um, an eggshell or... Cause it has a, it's a little dirty from you know being old and in a thrift store, and you can see that my back is, this is what was in there. It's actually, I don't know, a little kid's picture, a little like an illustration where and it has a verse on there, and I feel bad kind of like using it and putting it on the back, but. It was so perfect. I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I covered up the verse. But um, yeah, I framed it myself, and unfortunately, I had to clip like some of the threads on top so that I could. Um, there's there's screws that hold it in underneath here, and it also has this hanging thing. But I had to clip the fabric to make so that it'll show and it'll hang. And the only problem I have with this is that it made the fabric on top sort of buckle or warp here because it's not fully taut there. And I'm not sure how to fix it, but I'm just leaving it. I, I can't. <laughs> um, next is whips. I started a freebie pattern. Um, oh, crap. All right, well, okay, Cindy from Cindy's Cross Stitch, if you're watching, please look away for five minutes until I say it's okay. I, I'm i making this for Cindy, and just because, uh, yeah, she's wonderful, and I watch her a lot, and it, I don't know if I could talk about it without Cindy. You have to sign off for a second. <laughs> But it's, it's uh, sunflowers, and inside it says, enjoy the little things. And I think it's going to be briscornu or maybe a, a pillow finish. But um, I wasn't liking how I did the words, so I might have to rip them out. And either that or put a darker, like, surrounding around it. Oh, there you can see it. But, um... I, I really like, I actually changed a freebie pattern that was charted for daisies to sunflowers just because I couldn't find any sort of chart that I liked that was sunflowers. Uh, the next one is the one that I'm making for Chelsea. So Priscilla and Chelsea, I'm almost 100% sure that they don't watch my channel considering I only have three. but. I think instead of waiting to show you guys, I'm just going to show you because <laughs> I'm almost complete and I I have big plans for this as to how I'm going to finish it and give it to her for her baby boy, her new baby boy. And I just, I wanted to say congratulations, Chelsea. And this is what I've been up to. 
And let me put a, something behind it so you can see. So it's a freebie chart, and I just looked up chicken sampler online, and I really hope that it's a freebie chart, but I don't know exactly. It was on a Russian site, and I can't read Russian, and when I Google Translate it, I, I just couldn't tell whether whether this is something that you would be able to buy or purchase or not. I couldn't find it online, so I don't know exactly. If it's not free, someone tell me, please, because I will purchase it from that person. Just because I don't want to be stealing anybody's art. Because I don't know what freebie patterns are on, that are on Pinterest are free and which ones aren't. Because, you know, it's all up there and... It's very unclear as far as whether it's actually free, a freebie chart or not from the person. Um, so my other whip is also something I got recently in, well, I would have done haul, but I didn't purchase this yet. And that is the Quaker Sampler 3 by with my needle and so far I have the alphabet up until O or the beginning of O so you can't really tell but I'm using a variegated DMC thread and I'm doing one over one Mostly because I guess I'm getting tired of using two threads, but <laughs> I will. I just, I wanted to try one over one, and so I'm using this variegated floss. Um, you can't really see it, but it's, it's kind of a bluish purple, and I really like it. I'm not sure what number it is, to be honest, because I took off the plastic, and I don't know where it went, but... The other floss I plan on using is um, this one. It's a light, it's like a light blue, and it's 4020. And I'm thinking about doing this as like what goes underneath the words. Um, so next is my haul. <laughs> haul. <laughs> So I got four patterns, um, the Quaker, and then I got another pattern that's from the Tiny Modernist. This is one of, I guess they're doing a monthly sale for Biscornews. I looked at their website, and this one is called the Cherry Blossom Biscornu for this month, which I, I believe it's for March, so... I'm not exactly sure, but I think so. And the next one I have, I got was uh, Lizzie Kate. Well, she's going out of, she's retiring, and you gotta get your charts now. I guess <laughs> that's what they keep saying at the my LNS. And this one I really liked. They some of them come in like. CD cases, and I didn't realize until I bought it that it's not just the pattern. It's this pattern, and this pattern is the bonus chart, and then inside it actually comes with the linen, which this one is a 30 count lamb's wool linen, and it comes with the buttons. There's two little buttons, one that goes on each chart. And I really like the sentiment of this because it says, gratitude turns what we have into enough. And I, I feel that that's the truth. And I feel like this has become more true for me now, recently in my life, than ever. And that... The reason I bought this actually was because of the chart in the back, this one, that says, accept what is, let go of what was, and have faith in what will be. And I thought that that chart was in here.
but it's apparently just an, an example chart. <laughs> so I was like, oh no, the one that I wanted to stitch is not even in here, but it's okay. I, I can't find the chart because I, I looked today and I didn't see it, but it's all right. I'll, I'll find some way to do that chart. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I could find an alphabet and just use do that saying again. I mean, I'm still going to do this one, the, um, the big one. And I have it, I have, I just bought the floss for it. And this is my first time ever buying Weeks Dye Works. This one's Romance. They're so much beautiful, more beautiful in person, but it's like a reddish pink and it's gorgeous. This one's straw and it's like, like a light beige and brown. I'm not going to go through all of them, but let's just say they're really beautiful and I can't wait to stitch with them. And I have some plans to maybe use them on my Quaker once I finish that chart. The other two things that I got for from haul, I saw somebody get this from market and I was just in love with it. So it's Grow a Garden by Leela, what does it say? Leela Studio. And it says to grow a garden is to believe in tomorrow. And I don't know about these sayings, they just, they get me. I mean, the February one that I did of Beth Twist Design, that funny Valentine, that song is so sweet. I, I didn't know the song and, and then I went and listened to it. I love it now. <laughs> and I'm like sad I didn't know about it before. Um, so apparently it's a quote from Audrey Hepburn, which... Of course, we all love her. The next thing I got was Mill Hill Kit. It's Spring Bouquet Collection uh, Dragonfly Egg. It's really hard to... It's not showing up that well. But it has a ton of beads. Like, I think it's entirely full of beads because the only floss that's in here is the color white. So I'm really excited to do this because I love beading. <laughs> and the whole thing is beads. <sighs> Sold. <laughs> I might I might have to do more of these after I finish this one. But you got me with dragonflies. Um so I wanted to show you a couple patterns I thought about doing in Just Cross Stitch Magazine. And I have a story. When I was at my LNS, there was a lady there who wanted to do this, Celebrate Spring. And she was asking them if they sold wooden hoops. And they said that they didn't. They only had the plastic kind. I had my project bag with me that I have too many projects <laughs> in to count. So I told her, hey, I have one of these hoops in my bag. If you would like it, you can have it. And she was like, oh, okay, I'll give you a dollar for it. And I was like, sure, just give me a dollar. We're, we're golden. So she was getting fabric for this and I was really happy to help a fellow floss or a fellow stitcher <laughs> with their project, and I hope she has fun stitching it. I thought about stitching it myself. On, um, I just have some 14 count Ada fabric that would work, but I don't know. I would change the colors. I'm not really crazy about the blue in the center. I'm not really crazy about the pink on this fabric. I. So, I don't know how I would change them, but I thought I may. The other thing that I tried to start on linen and didn't like it on linen at all was this. 
black work, color magic, and I really like it. I've never done black work before, and I want to try it. So I bought some 28 count even weave from Joann's to try it. So this may be on my list of things I have to try. All right, which brings me to my next segment. <laughs> Quilty stuff! <laughs> so I didn't show you all my quilting stuff because I can't remember how many projects I have. Can you? No. <laughs> so <laughs> the next thing is my English paper piecing project. So I'll show you the little one first. I did a couple practice squares. So these are my hexes. And I fussy cut the little kittens. Aren't they cute? I love them. <laughs> and I fussy cut the flowers. And I just used scrap fabric. I didn't know exactly like what I was gonna do with this. And then I I realized I had a bunch of blue and I had a bunch of this fabric that was black. <laughs> it looks really big but it's not actually that big. Um, so this is my blue and black pattern. I like usually they're done as a flower but as grandmother's flower garden for hexes. Like that's what old that's what they do and I always like the diamond shape so I kind of mix the flower with the diamond and what I started with was like this inner part the flower and then I added the two two ones for diamond and then I did the black back background around and then I did the corner like the corner blue here and the corner blues here and this these ones but anyways it's just growing <laughs> but hopefully it's going to fit my scroll frame in it at some point I mean I'm getting there like not quite yet <laughs> but I'm getting there I'm trying and um so I thought maybe this will be the front, and when I figure out what I'm going to do with these other colors, that'll be the back. Otherwise, I might just do stripes or, like, long jelly roll in the back or something, because the hexes is a long process. <laughs> Let's just say that. And then, because I never stop having projects... I tried a new thing, and it's called foundation paper piecing. It's eventually going to look like this. It is a mini tulip quilt from a very old magazine of Bonds and Porter, 2006, so 12 years old. And I started with this one, pink, pink tulip, and, and it has another style of tulip, and I did this one. I messed up and didn't realize that I had the wrong side of the fabric showing, but you can barely tell. You can only tell because I told you. And then I decided that I didn't like all the solids, and I added some prints to the next one. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to scrap all of these, and not I'm not going to make the mini quilt out of this, because I want tulips that are a little bit more vibrant. So I got a picture of tulips. I'm going to do some tulips with some more vibrant colors. Um, yeah. So, 
I wanted to say, I wanted to end with some shout outs. One to Dawn at Frosty X Stitch because she shouted me out and thank you so much. <laughs> it was really sweet. I've been watching a lot of the Floss do, of course. And I also wanted to shout out my friend on Instagram, but she's also on Floss do. Bonjour, Lala. Um, it was over C days. I probably butchering that, but um, she was that before, and she ha has only a couple of floss tubes out, but they're really like cinematic. <laughs> I mean, better than mine because I'm just recording myself and uploading it because I don't really know this editing thing. Maybe I'll try it out if I have time. But with all these projects, I clearly do not have time. <laughs> I have time for this. Not time for that. So, so I wanted to just shout out those two people. And, of course, I want to end by saying thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back to spend some time with me. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy stitching, all. Ha, <laughs>